fresh from his glorious victory at the NTAs. Not just for him, but for his castmates as well. Mark Charnock is here. He's Yorkshire's Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> He's had 26 years as a dingle, and now he's made it onto the Good Morning Britain set to celebrate last night. Talking to him very shortly. But he hasn't still got the money, haven't you? No, I've been sitting in the naughty corner ever since I was ever so slightly late on the television. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I can sit and tell you about this amazing prize. Uh, here's your opportunity to win half a million pounds. Uh, the QR code is on the screen right now. That is one of the fastest ways to enter. Alternatively, you can go to itv.com forward slash win. Entries cost two pounds. Now, just think what you would do with half a million pounds. Someone is guaranteed to win that money, and that somebody could be you. And also remember that today and until four o'clock today, if you enter this competition, you'll also be entered into a bonus draw, which means you could win a motorhome worth £71,000. I'm glad I've got a chair, because I'm going to sit here and watch Mark talk about his win and Emma Dell, my favourite show, after this one. <laughs> you and the right. King. You and the King, Andy. <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, there is drama in them there, Dale's a phrase that we're used to hearing, of course, this weekend. It's set to get worse for the locals then Dale Marks. They've grown 50 years on our screens. Absolutely. And one man who's been through it all since he first appeared as Marlon Dingo in 1996 is NTA award winner Mark Charnock. It's so lovely to see you. No, it's lovely to see you too. Congratulations. Oh, con congratulations to you. Um, it, it's, it was fantastic for Emmerdale generally, but you, let's talk about your win first of all. Oh, okay. it, was so, <laughs> it was so moving. It was so moving what you had to say. And, you know, I think everybody was very touched by Oh, it. that's not, I, I have absolutely no recollection of what I said at all. I, just, I don't even know if I spoke in the English language. It's just all these extra words that were just obviously in a recycle bin. Just like, oh, where are we? So if it was in order, I feel like that was a win in itself, really. I messaged you yesterday and I said, good luck, I voted, you're going to be great, you're going to win it. He said, oh, I've got no chance, it's just going to excited yeah. to be there. I was really, I was genuinely chuffed to be in the top. It's not false modesty. I thought, oh, I've been shortlisted. That's genuinely, that's yeah. fourth, it's great. Fourth is great, and I'm sort of, I'm looking around at Paige next to me, you know, and the amazing, you know, all those other nominees, and it was, it was, and then when they said my name out, it was kind of like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but you met together and you paid tribute and highlighted of course the work and the highlighting stroke and all of that that we've all watched you you play so beautifully uh, the thing that caught my daughter who was at, uh, at any kind of big event for the first time was that you'd landed the king to talk about Emmerdale. I mean, how it I think just it was burst surreal. onto our screen. Wasn't it a surreal moment? Well, none of us knew. It was a genuine really? no. No, I mean, I mean, I, I imagine the team upstairs might have known, but we had no idea. So when when Joel Dyer said, "I oh, know we've got a VT from it," and I thought, "Oh, it will be an impressionist." <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> it was unbelievable. It was, and it was such so nice what he said, and it felt, you know, I've just decided that whatever I decided he watched is it every episode no question definitely well he did uh, well, actually let's have a look at what he said uh, i think we should have a look here emma dale and uh, i'm afraid i'm so old i can remember when it was called emma dale farm what makes emma dale so special is that it has kept true to the vision of its original writer i hope those watching will join me in sending our warmest congratulations on its 50th anniversary and wishing it uh, an equally successful future. I mean, I, it is jaw dropping. And the thing is, when it was in Adele Farm, I can remember the advertising campaign, which was sex, drugs, and sheep dip. No. That means that, that, that was the marketing campaign. I remember really? being on the tube yes, yeah, 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 yeah. When they dropped the plane on the village, they sexed it. They, 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 they changed the vibe of it. They, they dropped the farm. Yeah. They changed the vibe of it. And yeah, yeah. So he remembers that too, of course. Yeah, I mean, he texted me last night. And said, well, <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this weekend, because it's a big one this weekend, Mark. Yes, it's our 50th. And it's. Uh, we watched it as viewers. We went to a viewing in Leeds. And, wow. uh, and I sat back and I thought, OK, Mark, I'm going to watch my mates now. And the biggest sort of compliment I can give to that episode is I just forgot. I just forgot. I just, my suspension of disbelief was so complete. It's wow. so 
It's one of the best hours of MDR I've ever seen. And it's so dramatic, it's really moving. It, honestly, honestly, I can't tell you how strongly I feel about that episode. And I, and I say this, is, I, I'm, you know, I'm not going to say how much I'm in it, but there's some storylines that come to a head in that episode. It is so brilliantly shot. It's really cinematic. You can tell I'm pleased with it. I'm really shocked with it. Oh, well, that, that feels thing. like... It's brilliant. It it's is. brilliant, Mark. It's always a pleasure to congratulate you. are always a winner for us. And now oh, you've got one in front of you. Where are you going to keep it? <laughs> um, everywhere. I'm going to take it with me on tour. Everywhere. I'm going to take it with me on the shops, <laughs> everything. Mark, thank you, you can so catch Amadeus' 50th anniversary this Sunday at 7 pm on ITV. He's had considerably more sleep than you as well. You can tell. <laughs> you can uh, tell. That's it from us. We're back on Monday. We're going to hand you over to Randy, who's in Villaray. <laughs>